One of the things that's, that's important to understand uh, about assessment is, is assessment is something you design. And because it's something you design for a particular purpose, you always have to take into account constraints. So design is always done under a certain set of constraints. And so those constraints involve trade-offs. So if we really want a thorough assessment, it might take a lot of time, a lot of detailed information, and, and it might be very costly to, to do that because of the scoring. And, and so we have to always think about how do we optimize this under the constraints. We don't want to spend too much time testing. We don't want it to cost too much. Uh, and yet we want it to provide adequate information for the intended purpose. So this is, this is uh, always a difficult space. If you really want an assessment to adequately reflect, let's say, the standards, and you want it to adequately reflect the kinds of performances we want students to be able to uh, demonstrate, let's say, in mathematical thinking and reasoning or in, in reading and writing and, and interpreting text, well, then sometimes we need something more than just a bunch of multiple choice questions. We need tasks that actually require them to write or to um, uh, solve more complicated kinds of problems. And so those tend to take longer. Um, they're more costly to score because in many cases we have to use human scoring rather than machine scoring. So there's no perfect assessment. There are better and worse assessments depending upon how you weigh the factors of time, money, effort, and the intended interpretive use.